All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm here to show you how you can stream your live gameplay to Discord so that you can share it with your friends without having to get into a group call or set up a temporary group call channel inside of your server. So the simple answer is just boot up your game, and if Discord detects it and it shows up down here, in the lower left hand corner of the screen, you see it says Viscera Cleanup Detail, which I've got running in the background. Then you can click this Go Live button and you can start streaming it to everybody who's out there inside of your server. It just goes off of whatever voice channel you're currently in, or if I wasn't in a voice channel, then it would ask me which one of these channels I'd like to go live in. For the sake of this tutorial, I'll do it inside of the Recording Layer channel and then it'll start to load up the stream so that people can click on or hover over my name and click on your streaming to see my live video. Now, if I open this and I go to the stream settings button down in the corner of the stream video, there is this little gear. This will allow me to change the quality that I am streaming at. Now, by default, without paying Discord any money, you can stream it at 30 frames per second or 15 frames per second while also being at 480p or 720p quality. If you want full 1080 or even higher qualities at 60 FPS, then you need to pay Discord more money. You can also invite people to come watch your stream. And then you can also see by the little icon next to their name inside of the chat channel, because they got to be in the same chat channel as you to watch this, uh, who's watching and who's just talking. And then if you want to end your stream, all you have to do is click on this big stop streaming button in the center of the preview window. Although sometimes this will be not full screened since you're like, you know, diving around in different chat channels, then you can always just hit stop streaming. There's a little icon for it right here or just hit the button right next to where you started the stream in the first place and click on stop streaming. Now that's all you really need to do in order to get streaming to work. It should be rolling out to most servers, maybe not all of the most new ones as of yet, but all of the servers that I'm in currently allows you to start streaming. Now, what do you do if you want to block somebody from streaming? Because let's say you just don't want everybody who joins your public server to be able to do that. Well, in fact, if you go into your server settings, there is actually a permission for everybody. And if you go all the way down here, there is this go live feature that allows people to stream to your server. If you would like to prevent someone or just the average at every one person from being able to do so, you can deny them that permission and then save that change. So far, it hasn't really been an issue that I've seen with people spamming going live. And frankly, it's your choice whether or not you watch that. They don't force it on everybody in the server. So whether or not that is necessary is completely up to you. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. This has been how to stream and some of the various settings for that streaming to Discord. If you have any questions, go ahead and throw those down in the comment section below. I'm always happy to help. And until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. And bye, everybody.